Hello everyone, welcome to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. This week is super exciting because we will be finally revealing the tool that I've been working with, Nicholas Hayduk, another CRM MVP, another Dynamics 365 MVP for the last, I don't know, I think we've been working on it for maybe two months or so or a month and a half, something like that. And I've talked about this on one of the episodes of the podcast. I think it was a couple of episodes ago, this tool that I've been working on. If you remember, like close to the end of the year, um, I released an episode on the podcast talking about New Year's resolutions and like, you know, challenging yourself to, you know, do something for the community or for yourself. And one of the things I wanted to do was to create a tool or maybe two tools this year to release to the community. So the first idea I had came from actually working on a project and working with users and, you know, ideas and requirements or requests that came from those users. And I searched online trying to find if there was something like this out there and I couldn't find anything. So I reached out to Nick and I said, look, I think this tool could be very useful for some people out there. This is not going to be a tool for everyone. I don't think this will be, you know, adopted by every user that, you know, connects to Dynamics 365 all over the world or something like that. That's not what this is about. This is about, you know, a tool that will be very, very like life changing for some users out there that really, really like to take notes and really, you know, want to save some time on what they do. So, Obviously, today's a two-minute Tuesday, but we're already almost two minutes in this. I'm not even going to use a, a countdown timer because I want to show you how to set this thing up, how to use it, give you like a real-world example of, you know, where this would work. So I want to take my time for it. If you uh, want to, you know, look at other tips, obviously, we have a bunch on, on the channel and coming back next week, we'll go back to those tips that are super quick, two minutes or less. But this week, I want to take my time going through this thing. So bear with me for a second. The tool that we created is called PowerText. And the idea behind the tool is that by entering a key combination, you can replace whatever the key combination it is that you entered with actual fields or information that is contained in fields within Dynamics 365. So for example, let's say you wanna replace when you enter C for customer, you know, C1 or something like that with the name of your customer. If you're typing notes or entering anything in Dynamics 365, well, this tool will enable you to do that. So what I want to do is I think, you know, talking about it is too hard. I want to show you how it works. I don't have it installed right now on my machine. So I want to show you from beginning to end everything that you need to do to make this work. And again, I'll show you how it works at the end. All right. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the Google Chrome store. You notice that I have it open already is chrome.google.com web store. Um, you can find, you know, this link pretty much anywhere or you can go into, you know, Google and just search for, you know, web store, Chrome web store. But once you're there, you can search for power text. So this is the key combination that I like to use. If you search for power text, then I go into extensions. I say that this is for productivity, which is the category of ours. And obviously it's a free tool that we're releasing to the community. And there will be some tools across the top, but you can search all the way, you know, around the middle or so. And there, you, there it is. You will find it. Power text for Google Chrome by Nicholas Hayduk and Gus Gonzalez. So this is the extension that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to Chrome. It says, are you sure? Yes, go ahead and add it. It goes ahead and adds it and it pops up in the menu that enables you to add some shortcuts. Now, I want to mention that this tool is based on other tools that are in Chrome right now, but they don't interact with Dynamics 365 at all. So we added to that tool and, you know, there's a lot of information, um, you know, if you go into the into the project itself, uh, there's a lot of information about which tool we're kind of, you know, leveraging to be able to connect to Dynamics as well. So we added those capabilities uh, as part of, you know, the creation of the tool. So you, you see some examples like replace BRB with B right back or E at and enter the email address, which by the way, you would just add in here. So this goes beyond Dynamics, by the way, this is just text. So I could do like S at and that would add my signature. So signature is one of those things that P 
people really ask about. It's like, how can I have a signature, you know, online or whatever it is? Well, you can do, you can use this for that. And you can see, you can enter multiple lines, even though you only see one line, you can enter pretty intricate stuff. You can also use macros. So like date in this case, like D8 will enter, you know, this information it is, and then enter the date. Uh, right now and then you can have also other things like here's the signature sign add and it will go ahead and add that information in there so you can play with this and you can add as many as you want uh, in here the shortcuts uh, you can also export your shortcuts and import them in another machine and stuff uh, you can add timeouts so for example if you only want to uh, use a shortcut for a while and you want to make sure it doesn't work after you know this week or something like that I've never used that feature but it works like that as well. So in this case, we're going to add some shortcuts. Now, the most important thing to remember is that the way to connect with Dynamics 365 is by using macros. You can see an example here, which is percentage D and then between parentheses is, you know, the, the format in which you're going to be populating that macro. So we're going to do the same, but the macro that we're using or the keyword that we're using to interact with Dynamics 365 is if you think of model driven apps is essentially that acronym MDA. So if you enter MDA followed by whatever field you want to pull from, that's all you need really to make this work. So let me show you. So I'm going to click on add and let's add some examples. So I'm going to say percentage MDA, oops, MDA parentheses and then the name of the field. So how do you find out the name of the field? Because you have to use the schema name of the field. And there's a couple of ways to do that. My favorite way is, uh, let's say we're gonna use cases for this example. So I'm gonna use cases right here. I'm gonna open any case in the system. Let's say that one of the shortcuts that I wanna make is the customer name, all right? So I need to know the name of this field. Just by hovering with my mouse, it's not gonna tell me that. So I like to use level up for this. So I'm gonna use it once. I go into level up, I click on logical names, and there it is, customer ID. So this is the name that I need to use for that. So I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to go back to my extensions here and I'm going to paste it. Where is it? Oops, that's not the text that I want. This is actually, I'm going to say triple C for customer. All right. So now I can do percentage MDA parentheses, enter the name of the field. By the way, uh, if you have, for example, if you want to use triple C as your customer, but you know, you have the customer in multiple entities, but perhaps the field name is not always customer ID. Maybe it is, you know, if it's a custom entity, it might be like your prefix underscore customer or something like that. You can use comma separated values to enter those names on those entities as well. And that way your triple C in this case will work across the board. So in this case, I'm only going to do it for case. So, uh, so I'm going to do it, you know, only once. So, or I'm going to do it, you know, only one field. Uh, let's add a couple more in here. Let's say, um, let's say the entitlement. So I'm going to add triple E for the entitlement. So I'm going to just borrow this thing right here. All right. And then the entitlement name, which I actually know is entitlement ID. All right. So that's the name of the field. Once again, save that. Add another one in here. Maybe, uh, maybe the product. So PPP. Um, however, if we're going to use the contact as well, this might give us a problem because contacts, we're already using the C's for customers. So maybe, uh, maybe I should have done triple A for account or, well, let's just do PPP one. Just, just keep it simple. And I'm going to paste right here. And I also know that the product pretty simple product ID. So I don't have to use level up for that one. And let's add one more for the contacts so of PPP two. <laughs> uh, and we're going to call this the contact, which is primary contact ID. It's kind of odd that I have this stuff memorized uh, after working with this uh, dynamics for so long. So anyway, here are our four shortcuts that we have created into power text. So now that I have all set up I, again, I can take a backup. I can restore it later if anything, but all I'm going to do is close it. It's just telling us that it's going to work in all sites. You know, everything is good. I can go ahead and close this stuff. Just close all of that. And obviously we're going to come back here and clear the logical name. So let's go ahead and refresh just to make sure and everything is good. So now that we have refreshed, um, you know, one of the things that you will notice is that some of the fields that we're using on our shortcut are not like on the main form. Like if I look for product, for example, actually product is there and entitlement is there, but like contact is not there. 
uh, it will be included somewhere else in the form. Like, okay, so here's contact, for example. Maybe I wanted to do origin or something like that. Uh, or this, how about this one's first response by or resolve by? Like if you wanna get pretty intricate, you can add more shortcuts to this. But the idea is that I'm going to add, you know, perhaps a brief description. And here's a, here's a field, the description field about the case. So something like PPP2 reported that PPP1 is currently, well, if I can type this, is currently offline, dispatch a technician to CCC, who's the customer, per their EEE or their agreement, support contract or contract. All right. So you saw how easy that was, right? I just enter the shortcuts and it's entering or it's pasting essentially the names of those fields like Daniel Scappa, for example, as the, as the customer reported that assembly master 100 or whatever the product is, is currently offline dispatch a technician to fourth coffee per their fourth coffee gold support contract. As I'm typing that I can see it in real time. I mean, look at this C C C as soon as I hit the last letter, it just replaces the text for me, uh, which is pretty awesome. So once again, this can be a game changer for some users that enter a lot of information every day, or even if you're a pro and you're always typing the same like schema names and stuff like that, or you can you know create a quick shortcut that you can delete later, maybe to remember a, a global unique identifier or something like that, and just enter the name you know GWT, and it will just enter it for you, and then you can always delete it later. I mean the 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 tool power text will always just sit there and anytime you want to access it you just go to extensions there is power text obviously you can pin it if you want but if not you just click on it and boom this thing opens up again you can add your shortcuts there's no limit in there um you know well there's a 510 limit i guess is a, it's a huge limit but you can go ahead and uh, delete obviously the ones that you're not using um if you want to and again, just take advantage of the, the situation. It's better to, it's easier to remember a shortcut than to having to remember, you know, some of these, uh, some of this information. Like imagine trying to remember that, like the name of the product. And this is not too hard, Assembly Maestros 100, but some of the products based on, you know, customers that we've worked with is super complicated. So the fact that I can do, you know, PPP1, boom, and just enter the name, that is, I mean, even, even if it's not complicated, if the product name is huge and you have to enter that over and over, I mean, just having the ability to do PPP1 or whatever shortcut, whatever you decide to do, it doesn't matter what you pick, just pick your own shortcuts, your own hashtags, design this thing however you want. And this is not exclusive to Dynamics 365. If you have any shortcuts like your signature or the date or whatever it is, any website, anywhere you are, you can go ahead and enter that information and it will go ahead and populate it for you. It will work. Power Text works in and outside of Dynamics 365, but obviously we wanted to make sure that it works perfectly with Dynamics 365 and any other model driven application. So I hope you download it. Right now, it's only showing two users in the system, which is essentially me and uh, Nick Hayduke, but we want you to download it, install it, give us some feedback, put it to the test. This thing is solid. We love it, but we wanna make it even better. So let us know how we can make it better. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Two Minute Tuesday, and we'll see you next week.